Hey guys, today I'm replacing a coil on our 2003-40-350 van. This is a pretty simple task, but sometimes the simple things are overlooked on YouTube and uh, somebody out there might find this helpful someday. So I might as well make a how-to video of it since I've replaced almost all of them now. Now this van took us 5,100 miles out to Montana and back without any issues but now it's starting to act up a little bit it has a pretty bad misfire when you're going down the road and the engine light is on very common with these vans so if your van is doing the same thing more than likely it's a coil pack now you gotta figure out which coil pack it is uh, it's a coil over plug system so each spark plug has their own coil when you replace a coil, you want to replace the coil and the spark plug together. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is uh, hook a scan tool to it, and that'll tell you which cylinder is misfiring. Now you can go out and buy a scan tool. There's cheap ones, there's expensive ones, or you can rent one at a parts store, or go right to the parts store and have them. Uh, read the codes for you. Now this is my scan tool. It's a cheap one from Walmart. It was 50 bucks. Now they can range from $50 to who knows how many, hundreds of dollars. So this is the cheap one here and this one does let you uh, turn off the engine light when you're done with the job. Some cheap ones won't let you do that. But this was 50 bucks at Walmart. You can buy one of these or you can just rent one. I've rented them before I got this one. Now your OBD2 port is almost always right under your steering column. Pop the cover off. Hook up the tool. And then tool will light up you're gonna have to turn the key on so got it hooked up here you got three different codes here gonna hit read codes uh, stored codes cylinder 6 misfire cylinder 6 so the next thing you gotta do is figure out which cylinder is cylinder number 6 um, if it's one toward the back you'll have to remove this cover inside uh, to access it if it's one toward the front, you can get it from under the hood by taking the air filter assembly out. So let's figure out which cylinder it is. Um, I can't remember uh, which cylinder is what um, on this particular engine. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But let me uh, confirm that. Now here's the other code that's linked to the same thing, linked to the coil problem. Engine misfire detected on startup first 1,000 revolutions. Um, that's 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 linked to the same problem. Now I failed to mention what type of engine this is. This is the 5.4. For a while I thought it was the 4.6. Both of the engines are very similar to each other. Uh, they don't look different, um, so they're practically the same thing. Uh, so coil replacement or most other engine repair should be similar on both engines. Now a quick search on your phone will show you the firing order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the front of the vehicle. Whoops. So I can get to six uh, from under the hood. Uh, so do that. You gotta remove the air filter assembly here which just has a few bolts 
here and there, and a sensor that you'll need to disconnect. So now you can actually see in the engine. And if you look down in here, way down in there, there's your first coil pack right there. That's cylinder number five on the driver's side. The next one over is cylinder number six. You can start off by pulling the connector off. It just has a little clip on the bottom. Squeeze it and pull it off. There is one bolt that holds these coils on. It's a 7 millimeter. You'll need something fairly small to fit in there. You might be able to see the bolt right now where I'm holding the camera. So when you get that bolt out, you can pop the coil off of the plug. You might have stuff in the way. I got fuel lines right here. You're gonna have to work it out of there a little bit. And it'll eventually come out. Don't lose that ball. And there it is. That's what it looks like. And that's one of the originals. See the yellow dot? This is one that I haven't replaced before, so that's good. That's a good sign. Okay, there's the new coil. Got this from AutoZone. Usually we get them from Napa. Uh, went to AutoZone this time. Got a Motorcraft spark plug. So, uh, now we got to take the old spark plug out. Always a good idea, like I said earlier, to replace the spark plug the same time you do the coil. The spark plug is way, way down deep in a bore where that uh, coil goes. It's that far down there. So, you need a really long extension, or a couple of them put together like you see here, in order to reach down there and get it loose. So when you finally got it loose, it then you can pull it out. And there it is. Take a look at it. Looks pretty bad. Let's get a close up. See it's got some white deposits on it. Not sure what's up there. But definitely needs to be replaced. Doesn't look good. So, got a new one here. The motor craft one. Nice and new. I'm going to gap that. Because I always gap them, you never know be easy enough to drop this box on the ground and I've had a couple of them out of the box that the outside electrode was pushed down right up against the inside one so then you can put the new spark plug back down in there Tighten up the spark plug, but don't over tighten it because the threads in the uh, head are really weak, so be careful. You can put your new coil in there, tighten it down, and then reattach the connector. You can put your air filter assembly back on.
So then you could go ahead and erase the codes, turn off the engine light, and take it for a spin.